get back to the groove of things. All right. Oh! Almost fell there. Okay. Hello. <laughs> um, what's up, guys? Um, I am, for those who are wondering, sitting in my backyard right now. Um, and I felt like I needed to address what was, in my opinion, the elephant in the room. Um, and that is, I haven't posted in the last month. Um, now, I know you guys are probably, have probably been extremely sad and wondering what the heck is going on with Shim. Now I'm messing around. But in all honesty, um, there's just been a lot going on in the background um, behind the scenes that I unfortunately can't disclose right now, but it will all make sense in due time. Um, in the meantime, I guess I also wanted to speak to, I guess, the expectation so you guys can hold me accountable in the comments. Um, I wanted to obviously post an episode a month for the making of Rabbi, but in between that, just to kind of keep you guys engaged, uh, post uh, videos just outside of the making of Rabbi, you know, getting insight to my life, my wife, um, maybe even work, some of the different hobbies that I'm into, um, but obviously in the last month I haven't. So I'm just coming here just to address that, apologize and say I'm sorry about that for those who've been keeping up, um, but from here on out, I should be getting back into the groove of things, hopping back on the horse and posting consistently in the month and hopefully even ramping it up. Um, while you guys are at it, please hit that like button. Um, I've heard that likes are free and it does nothing to your account. Um, but also on top of that, subscribe um, if you haven't already. Um, so you can stay locked in and tuned in to each video that I drop. Anyways, that's all I had to say. I appreciate you guys tuning in for this part of the video, and uh, we're going to resume back. All right. See y'all. Um, I kind of wanted to give you guys a whole debrief of the whole thing since you guys graced me with y'all's presence. I feel like y'all deserve all of that. So, um, Rabbi, in, in Hebrew or in Jewish culture, um, they refer to um, teachers as rabbi, right? And a lot of the times rabbis start from a very young age, learning the scriptures, learning you know the history of um, Judaic um, religion and culture. And then when they get to a certain age, I think they go through a series of tests or whatever, and then they officially become a rabbi. Oh, my heart. You said, oh, I know that you're knocking on the door of my heart. One more time. Say, oh, I know that you're knocking on the door of my heart. Right, here I go. Yeah, that's it. Cool. So, um, in the second verse, I think we should go through that just for the sake of getting the words comfortable. Um, there's Slight things that are different. It's not drastically different. Because um, the first verse I go, and behold, those who let you in to dwell will be whole. And the second verse I go, and behold, those who let you in to dwell will come. <laughs> also, in, on the first verse is, um, oh, I know that you're knocking on the door of my heart. The second verse is, oh, I know that you're knocking on the door of my home. Mm -hmm. Which is why I'm ending it with, those who let you in will come home. Right? Uh, All right. Let's sing the first and second verse together, and then we'll break it and I'll teach you guys the chorus for the uh, the lyrics and the part. Come in and take all over. Sit down and dine with 
me Go to the darkest places Bring all the light you have to bring Come in and take all over The throne is yours, O King Bring heaven down to earth and Let your house be in me Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in and take all over yeah. heading to a writing session with a good friend of mine, Amara. Um, you guys probably know who she is. Um, but I am almost, I'd say about like 75% done with all the songs writing wise on Rabbi. Um, so I have one more song to write from scratch. Um, that one I really want to be really, really particular about. Granted, me particular about all the songs and, and the content, but um, I want to be really, really particular about um, the lyrics in this song. It's going to be the song that ends it, but this song I'm going to write here in a studio with Amara. We're actually going to do a collab together. Um, she's going to feature on the song, um, and I guess just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a premise to the song itself, um, it's ultimately about the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. Um, as you guys already know, this project is just kind of highlighting certain things that I think Christ really wanted us to uh, keen into um, as it relates to the heart of the Father and his intention. And so one of the things that Jesus spent a lot of time speaking on while he was here on earth was the kingdom of heaven. Um, and throughout the gospels, but more specifically, I believe Matthew, he gives so many parables about the kingdom of heaven. So that's ultimately what we're going to be writing about, trying to capture um, the right message um, and ultimately what Christ was trying to communicate, not trying, but Christ was communicating through, uh, you know, his teachings. And so, yeah, I am on the way now. This place is kind of far. It's about like 50 minutes from the house, um, but I found this place. And honestly, I think I might be going here at a, on a regular basis throughout this process of the making of Rabbi. So anyways, just wanted to let you guys know um, as we are on the way to uh, the studio, I'll touch base with you guys when we get there. All righty. Um, so we are in the studio. Um, I'm super excited. So if you're wondering why I'm screaming or I'm yelling, um, it's because I'm really excited. I am with the one and only Amara. I don't know if we should call you Amara or Rachel. Oh my gosh, Amara. <laughs> only my, my I feel like, I feel my like, oh, uh, only your who? <laughs> um, okay. Um, I feel like, I feel like, um, calling you Rachel is equivalent to calling me Sean. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's Do people like. people actually call you Sean? People actually call me Sean, but people in like corporate call me Sean. Right. And when I was in school, people called me Sean. That weren't yeah. of uh, of our um, origin. Do you have but a name that only your family calls you? They call me Shannon. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I didn't have any nickname. I mean, 
my my family would tease me as I got older, and they found out that people called me Sean at school. Um, <laughs> they would tease me, be like Sean, and, and like get me to come downstairs or something. Hey. But no, nah, they call me Sean. Anyways, um, so I actually I'm super excited. This is one of the individuals that are going to be featured on Rabbi. I think this project is like super super intentional. As I've been saying to you guys already, super super deliberate about what it is I'm wanting to communicate. So with that heart, I've been also very particular about the individuals that are involved. And there's only two. Um, they're both lovely ladies. What an um, <laughs> but um, Amar is a, I don't even know, I don't want to boost her too much here. Uh, don't make my head blow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Amar is a super talented, super, super talented, um, very meticulous um, yeah. artist, creative and child of God. Um, we're actually involved in another collective together um, with some other good friends, but um, that's just to kind of give her a little bit of an introduction for those who do not know. Um, I think the people that watch will probably know who you are right now, at least. But anybody that's to watch this in the future, this is who she, uh, who she is. Yes, yes, yes. Is it cool my hair here, Bro, you're green. You're here. This is our friend Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> this is our friend Daniel. Yes, so... um. I was explaining to Amara that um, this song is titled The Kingdom. Kingdom. And I think I've broken it down to you already, the premise of Rabbi, right? And yeah, it, like yeah. the different songs being, you know, different things that I believe Christ came and communicated while he walked the earth during his ministry. One particular subject matter that Jesus used different, different parables to teach on was the kingdom, right? And mm -hmm. the kingdom of heaven and what it, what it was like in two. And so I remember at that time, I was like, I need to write a song on this, right? Because um, I think it's something that's super important for um for the listener and for humanity really mm -hmm. to understand the kingdom of heaven and i'll read 31 31 to 50 53 yeah 31 to 50 okay gotcha uh, i'll go ahead and start with 31 and into 33 he put another parable before them saying the kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard of mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his field this is the smallest of all seeds but when it has grown it is larger than all the garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. This is where your creativity is going to be tapped into. What do you? I guess what are you thinking as far as um, which element of the kingdom of heaven that we want to I mean, focus in on? I feel like there's a couple things I still don't even understand for real. Right. Like, um, because I was trying to look at some of these, like when we first came in, when I was like waiting for you a little bit, mm -hmm. um, like versus 31 to like 33 when it talks about like the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed yeah okay um king of heaven is like a like yeast that was mixed into flour and so mm -hmm. those worked through all the dough like that there wasn't even any explanation of like what any of that means deep diving, like, yeah yeah like okay <laughs> what does that mean jesus yeah just pick different chords <laughs> Catching you at a good time. Yeah, I'm buzzing. Cool. Uh, I got a question. Yes, sir. Describe the kingdom of heaven. Wow. Well, uh, the kingdom of heaven is like Hondalay. <laughs> <laughs> so if you use 40, 44 to 46 about how the kingdom is so precious that you sell all mm -hmm. and be all in and don't be, um, you know, amongst those who are categorized as part of the wicked because you're going to be separated at the last day. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think he, if, if I'm writing a song, yeah, 44 to 46, that that's clear about what the kingdom is. So, it's almost like, um, it's almost like, here when he's breaking down uh the parable of the weeds he's breaking down like a day or a specific like like a time 
that something is going to happen and likening that to the kingdom of heaven. Whereas in 44, he's likening the kingdom of heaven to a like, like a valuable thing, which is where yeah, like yeah, the differences yeah. take place. Yes, yes, you're spot on. You're spot on. You're spot on there. Um, yeah, so that's there's, there's different, different ways of understanding the kingdom. Right? Yeah. Can you go back to the verse again? Yeah. Treasure, we're telling what something for seed that plants to the floor, some, 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 something like that. That's nice. So I'm going. Da, 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 da. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Or not necessarily the cadence there, but like the the number of uh dun, dun. syllables notes there, I guess. If that's the is the idea. Oh, it's treasure. Or sorry, what five ten? Yeah. Oh, it's treasure. We're telling all in the sea that plants into the floor. Oh, I see what you did. Mm-hmm. Okay, got you. Because I can imagine your voice harmonizing with that on a higher, on a higher part, um, and it being very pretty. Mm. Basically speaking to that, and then maybe we can touch. In the bridge, we can touch on uh, him separating the righteous versus the uh, so the mm-hmm. oh my gosh something to, something alluding to yeah right okay. and that would be like the yeah. reward for that would be the reward in itself the treasure in itself right mm-hmm. um, okay so we're definitely talking about the kingdom like it's a treasure I think that's one thing I'll lock in mm-hmm. the final answer there. Um, so now we're going to build around that premise. So I just got back from Bible study. It is literally midnight. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see this. Focus, 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 focus. Yeah, 12, 15. And it's midnight. And I don't know why. I just have this spurt of um, creativity coming. So I wanted to continue the song that Amara and I started. Um, and see what I can come up with. Um, yeah, so y'all can just sit down with me as I try to write parts of this and hopefully it comes together. Like a treasure We're telling for Like a seed that Like a seed that Planted Planted in the core Planted to the core, like a seed that rooted to the core. Mm. Mm. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to walk around a little bit. Open my eyes, Lord, to see it. And open my ears, Lord, to hear it. Open my heart to receive it. Kingdom come. Treasure, word selling for. Like a seed that planted through the planted and planted for the Lord. No. Like a seed that seed that planted, rooted. Oh, like a treasure worth telling for. Like a seed that planted in the floor. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take some time to ponder and really study up some more on this. I feel the words coming. It's weird. The way that I've explained it to people is like, whenever I feel a song coming, it's almost like it's like downloading. Right. And so obviously downloading something typically takes time 
So it's like slowly downloading. Some songs like come really fast and I'm, I get it like that. And then other songs come like really slow and they take a little bit of time. So uh, I'm not trying to rush it or I'm not trying to force it. So yeah, y'all will obviously get the updates whenever whenever they come. But anyways, appreciate y'all tuning in. You guys can catch me in the next video.